you ever going to make another Civil Saturday video? Yes, I'm sorry. It's been about two weeks since we've done a Civil Saturday video, and there's reason for that. I've been caught up with the back end and all that stuff, and there's just been so many small little things added to the game. I just didn't have enough to put into one Civil Saturday video. But in this video, we're going to be talking about lots of different things. Let's get right to it. All right, so in the main menu, uh, we have a couple different settings in here that we can go into. Uh, we can turn these on and off, uh, just like you could in the alpha. Uh, I'm just going to be showing you the game quality slider for now, because I don't want to have to actually downscale resolution and stuff like that. I'm going to turn full screen off. Uh, but here's how the quality stuff works. Um, you know, I could turn the quality down exponentially if I want to optimize my game a bit. You can see that there's some real changes being made here. Um, view distance, kind of hard to tell on the main thing. You can turn the anti-aliasing off, shadow quality down, texture quality down, and see a big difference with that too. Uh, let's turn those back on so you can see the difference there. Kind of interesting. Um, another cool thing in the main menu is the custom games section. So here's where community games are going to show, and there's no community games running right now, so we're not going to find any. But you can create a dedicated server using our dedicated server tools that are going to be releasing on the alpha or if you want to skip the middleman and all of the extra complications you can just press this plus button and go into your custom game options type in a small server name a description and even pick a game mode we'll select civil rp and jump right into the action so here we are in the game pretty fast loading time. Uh, you can see now the character customization stuff actually translates to the game. So I got the tattoo on my face and the red hair uh, and blue eyes and uh, the face structure doesn't technically load in right now and that, that's actually because the, the mesh we're using is technically a different mesh from uh, this mesh which has the face and it won't update because there's just no function for that yet. The tattoo is there. Uh, this is technically because of the fact that when the shirt is on the player, it does not show the torso underneath the shirt. And you can kind of see that, actually, if you look in the neck, which I'm working on fixing that, actually, next week. Uh, there's no body down there, uh, and that's just for optimization purposes, and so you don't have to see peeking skin through the clothes, which is a little bit weird. But it's a good way to fix it. The biggest thing that I think we added was uh, some new features to our trading system and ATM system. Uh, it's not going to be super noticeable, but it's definitely different from our pre-alpha. If you look on the minimap, you can see there's an icon for the trading stations. Uh, and the trading stations don't have textures on the screens. I'm working on textures still. Uh, but as for ATMs, they work basically the same way they used to. Um, and I'll kind of explain how they actually are used in-game. Uh, oh, by the way, we also added an outline. Uh, you can see that outline. Uh, that's also another cool thing we added this week, or actually in the past three weeks. Uh, I have $5,000 in my balance, which you can see that right here. Um, and if you click the question mark, you can see a little bit about how ATM machines work. So they transform cash from stat to tradable item. So what that means is your stat is actually your balance. So when I go in my inventory, you can actually see that I have $5,000. I can't technically trade this to players, though. If I go to the trading station right now, I can only trade items. So let's figure out how we would trade money. Well, we would just turn that money into an actual item. So right now I have 5,000. We'll go ahead and enter in 1,000. There we go. So we added 1,000 cash to the inventory. This actually takes it out of the balance. So now we don't have 5,000. We have 4,000 plus the additional cash right here, which, uh, by the way, this stuff, you can't, like, trash or sell cash. It's a special type of item, but when you use it, it adds to your balance like that. Same way you get paid at a uh, job. Uh, so let's go in here and enter in, let's just go with like 2,500 and, oh, that's 25,000, 2,500. And we can actually go into the trading post and trade this to players. So now a player can I guess go to the other side of the trading post and pick up that money and it will move that money to their uh, inventory. So then you can trade money between players. Uh, this is very useful when you have a high karma score. Um, something I've noticed when players have a higher karma score, a lot of people try to kill them to get their karma. So I've seen people hire bodyguards before and I think it's a really interesting way to play the game. So uh, that's kind of the number one reason that that's going to be a system that's used. Uh, let's go into another new thing. Uh, the Discord Live Link. 
uh, Rich Presence. It's very cool. Um, it was actually really interesting to install. Very easy, actually. Uh, I'm really proud of it because it looks official, which is why I'm putting it in this video. I really don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. It's just really cool looking. Another really awesome thing is if you notice in the bottom left hand of the side of the screen in some of our older Civil Saturday videos, we've been working on getting SQL working inside of Civil. And if you don't know what SQL is, it's a way to save progress inside of a dedicated server. So for community games, if they want to save certain player information using uh, MySQL, they can do that. Uh, we've got it set up with an ODBC driver and... Uh, something I haven't really seen people using in Unreal Engine. We don't use an API traditionally. We actually use ODBC, and this works on Windows and Linux, so technically you could be running on a Windows client and talk to a Linux SQL server. And we have uh, configuration INI files for that using localhost uh, tunneling, which is a little bit more on the advanced side. I'm not going to get super into the nerd stuff, but it's going to be very useful for community servers to save progress. And just a few more fun things, uh, the shop, the item shop, which is nowhere near being done, uh, does have an interesting vendor, uh, a little bit different than what we're used to seeing, uh, some interesting items in here that have not been set up properly yet. I can purchase from the, uh, can purchase from the vendor just like you would normally expect. But you can also fire a weapon and, oh, that's, ignore the lines. You can scare him away. Let's actually kill him. There. The vendor is now dead. And now there is no way to buy clothes. So the vendor actually respawns when he dies. Uh, as do all NPCs now. They, uh, they all respawn so they always will exist in the map. And you can't lose them forever. But for certain periods of time which we can set dynamically. The vendors are going to be gone if they're killed. If you rob the shop and kill the vendor they will disappear. Another thing, I'm going to try to grab a police job to show you this. I'm very close to having 50 karma, so I'm going to go to the cafe and try to get the karma to be a police officer. And then I'll show you a firing system that we have. And one more thing before I grab that job. Uh, there are quests on the map that show up, and they're actually civilian quests and criminal quests. There's only two right now, but I plan to add a lot for the alpha. Uh, these are different quests that you can do to help NPCs and just do other things besides the traditional jobs. There is a criminal quest in the street and I'll show you how to interact with it which is interesting because I actually can't. Uh, I have 56 karma which means I am unable to even see the criminal job that's right here because I'm a good guy and if I got this job it would lower my karma. But the civilian job which is right over here or the good side player job is right here on the wall and available to me. Uh, the minimum karma for a police job is 50 karma. If I fall below 50 karma, I'm going to lose that job. Oh, I'm at 51 karma. That was a casualty. Ah, and I've been fired for falling below the minimum karma. This happens for all jobs, uh, except criminal jobs. If you get, if you fall below the minimum, so for the cafe job, for example, if you fall below zero, you're going to get fired. If you fall below any minimums for any jobs that are set that aren't criminal jobs, you're going to get fired. This prevents people from playing the game in a more malicious way. And I think that about wraps it up for this week's Civil Saturday. Uh, I don't think I have anything else on the list to talk about. Hopefully you guys enjoy watching this guy run around the map for some random reason. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.